Hey guys, welcome to week three in Fortnite season four. We're gonna break down all the challenges for this uh, this week and kind of give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to obtain those objectives uh, and get the get through them as quick as possible so that you're ready for the next week going forward. Uh, if you could do me a favor before we get into it, uh, if you head over to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 72 DPI online, get subscribed, leave a comment, tell us what you think about season four so far, what types of skins are you running? What types of challenges are you working on right now? I want to hear all about it. So let's go ahead and jump into this week and see what challenges uh, Epic has for us. So if you look here, we've got, uh, let's see, your week three challenges. We're going to run through the list and then we'll go through it, them individually on how to complete them and go from there. So let's see here. First up, we have watch a match and replay. Deal damage with pistols to opponents. Search chests in Lonely Lodge. Search rubber duckies. Follow the treasure map found in Salty Springs. Sniper eliminations. And then eliminate opponents in Tilted Towers. So we've got you know a little bit of a wide selection of things here. Uh, some the harder ones uh, at the bottom there. You know finding uh, the Salty Springs treasure map. That shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, we'll figure that one out here in just a moment. Uh, sniper eliminations, you know, that's that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, you, you don't have to be a sniper to, to get those, you know, eliminations. You just down them however you do, and then pull out the sniper rifle and finish them off there. Um, but we'll kind of go through these play by play. We'll start at the very top with watch a match replay. This is pretty simple, and actually, to tell you the truth, not many people know about your match replay. So you're on, we're on our challenges tab here. If you bump all the way over to career and go over to replays, it's going to give you a list of your replays that you've played. So this is one that we did, and it can be any replay that you've recorded, not recorded, or whatever. Uh, this was a game that Angel and I played in a couple days ago. Uh, this is our first win, Angel's first win in doubles. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and watch this and that should just get us the challenge you don't you don't have to actually watch the entire video it's really just loading it up and watching it um, but it's actually if you haven't done this before it's a great opportunity to kind of go through there's a bunch of different options here for those of you that have played like the halo th in halo 3 uh, in like the forge and the theater type of thing you have several different options um, as far as like mechanics to control the camera and all that good stuff so it's cutting out the third person here you can right click uh, your well let's see as soon as it drops us off here um, but a whole bunch of different options you know as far as watching the replays and all that stuff you can pause so if you know you got you know, if you got hit from somewhere and you're not sure where it's coming from, you can hit pause and, you know, go from there. So, so that's the replay. So let's back out and see, and see what we have next here. All right, guys. So next up we have our pistol damage to opponents. This is a pretty straightforward one. You kind of have to change your uh, play style a little bit because um, the pistols really aren't that powerful. I mean, you can use a couple different, there's a couple different variations. Uh, you've got pistols, you've got the silence pistols, you've got the hand cannons, and you even got the revolvers. And you can see here we've got a couple different uh, um, uh, examples of those themselves. Um, like I said, you got to change your play style around a little bit, but it's a pretty straightforward one to get. Next up, we've got the treasure chest. You got to pick up seven treasure chests in Lonely Lodge. Um, this can be very difficult early on, uh, early in the week, because of there were so many people trying to get this. But my suggestion is fly into the north side. Uh, there's a few more pl uh, places where the, sh the actual chest will spawn, and that should help you out there. Check the uh, attics of all the little huts, and then also there's uh, two spawns on this uh, actual tower here, uh, one in this spot right here, and then also one down below. And then next up, we've actually got, uh, this is a fun one. This is the rubber ducky selection. So uh, you need to find these rubber duckies. They're all over their map. You need to collect seven of them. Um, 
and actually search them out, find them. They're hidden in water, they're hidden in certain items and things like that. So we've actually found a couple of them here for you. But there's actually more than seven. There's closer to like 12 or 15. Uh, they're scattered throughout the entire map. We'll actually put a map up here of Fortnite's uh, island, and that will give you an opportunity to kind of see where they're at uh, on the entire map. But we've got... Uh, a whole bunch here for you to look at and see where they're at. We zoom in here on the map and bada bing, bada boom. And again, like one of the nice things about these actual ducks is they make a, an audible sound, so you can hear them wherever they're at. So, uh, you know, definitely uh, be on the lookout for them. Like I said, we've got quite a few of them shown here, and then here's the actual screenshot of the uh, of where the ducks are located at on the actual map. So, and then next up, we've got the uh, Salty Springs map, um, which actually leads you to the go kart track. Um, on the east side of the mountain. Uh, so you're going to fly all the way over here and basically just run to this random spot in the middle of the track and a little icon will pop up and you will get your uh, award. And then next up you've got your uh, three kills and tilted. Uh, here's a couple of them here. Shotgun kills, pretty much land, kill, land, kill. And if you can get in there, uh, the the easiest thing I can tell you to do is land and find a weapon as quickly as possible. Uh, last up, we've got revives. You need to get five team revives. You can do this a couple different ways. You can either just get it by playing, or you can actually have people get uh, on your team do fall damage. You could revive them. Um, either way you want to do it, it's you know possible whichever way. Um, but uh, just get five revives, and you're good to go. So you get this just by playing the game itself. So pretty straightforward. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. We've completed all seven challenges for Season 4, Week 3. We'll be back next week for uh, Week 4. Uh, hopefully get it out a little bit sooner. This one took a couple days to complete, but we're going to definitely get a quicker start on next week uh, to get that video out a little bit quicker. Uh, again, I apologize for the sniper rifle uh, video did not capture, but you guys get the idea. All you got to do is get those uh, few sniper rifle eliminations. You're good to go. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you leave a comment tell us which ones were difficult for you guys to get or which ones were easy and we will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching